President Narendra Modi stated that India is committed to protecting freedom of navigation and combating piracy and terrorism in the Indian Ocean region. On Monday, Bulgarian President Roman Radev expressed his gratitude for the Indian Navy after they seized a ship from Somali pirates. President Radev stated that seven Bulgarians were among the crew members rescued by the Indian Navy over the weekend. The Indian Navy said it had taken control of a hijacked bulk carrier and evacuated 17 crew members. Indian Navy stated all 35 pirates on board the Maltese flagged MV Ruin had surrendered and that the vessel was checked for illegal arms, ammunition and contraband. The whole operation took about 40 hours and involved drones, Navy vessels and Marine commandos. Men on the bulk carrier fired at an Indian warship in the international waters on Friday, triggering the Navy to intercept the vessel some 2,600 kilometers off the Indian coast. The vessel was first boarded by the pirates on December 14th near the Yemeni island of Skotra, which is around 240 kilometers off Somalia. Activity from Somali pirates has dropped in recent years. However, there has been growing concerns that it could resume amid the, um, amid the political uncertainty and wider chaos in the region that has included attacks on ships by the Houthis. Well, India is flexing its naval power in international waters. Recent measures include anti-piracy patrols and deployment close to the Red Sea to help protect ships from attacks during Israel's war with Hamas. The Indian Navy has helped at least four merchant vessels that were attacked in high seas by the Houthis. Indian forces include three guided missile destroyers and reconnaissance aircraft. 